I don't have to fear this with Jesus. He can work this out for my good. This is a powerful truth thought. If we could choose to believe in this truth thought, then we don't have to have fearful thinking anymore. If you change the word this to something that you fear, then this truth thought can help you to fight off Satan's lie thoughts which try to encourage you to fear instead. Some examples of using this truth thought to stop fearful thinking are I don't have to fear death with Jesus. He can work it out for my good. I don't have to fear wars with Jesus. He can work them out for my good. I don't have to fear problems with evil people with Jesus. He can work them out for my good. I don't have to fear financial problems with Jesus. He can work them out for my good. I don't have to fear illnesses with Jesus. He can work them out for my good. I don't have to fear my family problems with Jesus. He can work them out for my good. I don't have to fear food problems with Jesus. He can work them out for my good, etc., etc. Anything you fear. I don't have to fear this with Jesus. He can work it out for my good. Also, in order to feel fear-free with Jesus, we need to choose to believe in other certain truths about him. We have to believe we're in a truth war with Satan, trying to steal the truth out of our minds and fill our minds with his lies instead. And if he gets us to believe in lies, we'll have bad emotions. If we choose to believe in Jesus' as truth, we can have good emotions. Our emotions reveal what we're believing in, Jesus' is truth or Satan's lies. Satan only wants us choosing to believe in his lies to cause us to be fearful Choosing to believe his lies instead of Jesus' truth to try to control us with fear. And we do not have to believe his lies. Some other important true thoughts about Jesus that we need to choose to believe in to stop fearful thoughts in our minds are Jesus is perfect. Jesus is good. Jesus is in control. Jesus is good and perfect and in control. Jesus is perfect. He never makes a mistake with us during our lifetimes. Always does the right and good thing. The loving thing to do. Perfect love. Jesus is good and always tries to do what is good or best to do for us. He's not like some evil human being we can't trust. He is like a perfect human being we can always trust. Jesus made everything and he controls everything. Satan, demons, evil people are not in control. Jesus is in control. Nothing can happen to us unless Jesus allows it to happen to us. And whatever he allows to happen to us can work out for our good. There's nothing too difficult for loving Jesus to miraculously do for us if he is wanting to do it for us. It is true that we have to live in an evil and suffering world now. 
But Jesus can work this evil and this suffering out for our good, and he controls it all. Joseph could be living in Egyptian slavery with his brothers trying to murder him, and God could work it out for his good. <laughs> to stop fearful thinking, we need to believe that Jesus is real, Jesus is here, Jesus is always with us, and he is always taking good care of us. To stop fearful thinking, we need to believe that Jesus is a thousand times more powerful than our enemies are. We need to seek to believe that we're always safe with Jesus. To stop fearful thinking, we need to believe that Jesus and his angel army will fight our enemies for us so that we don't have to try to do it ourselves. Jesus never made us to do anything by ourselves successfully. Jesus said, without my help, you can do nothing successfully. Like Paul said, with Jesus' help, we can do all things successfully. <laughs> Humble yourself. Say, help me, Jesus, and he will help you. Jesus helps those who believe in his help and seek his help, and he doesn't help those who don't believe in his help or seek his help. To stop fearful thinking, we need to believe that Jesus is like a perfect father, a perfect husband, and a perfect friend who is always with us, taking good care of us like his children or his wife or his friend, perfect husband King Jesus. To stop fearful thinking, we need to believe that eternal life in a new everlasting body, in a new heaven and a new earth, in our future, will be a thousand times better than this evil and suffering world experience is that we need to live in now. But we got to go through this evil and suffering world since Adam and Eve to get to the, the new perfect world later. And Jesus can help us through this evil end now. One of my favorite mottos is, i got to live in an evil and suffering world, but Jesus can help me through it work it out for my good, make me happy in it, and help me not to be bothered by it, to have no fear in it. Jesus wants to take his punishment for all of our sins for us so that we can be close to his holy presence forever if we want him to do this for us. I don't deserve to go to a new world that's perfect, but Jesus wants to Allow me to if I want to go. I deserve hell, but Jesus wants to give me heaven if I want it. Jesus wants to fill us with his spiritual joy and his spiritual peace for choosing to believe in his truth and obey him. If we would choose to believe biblical truth thoughts like this about Jesus, our creator, then we wouldn't have to keep experiencing fearful thinking on this evil and suffering world anymore. You gotta remember, when you're fearfully thinking as a Christian, you're believing a lie. If you repent, if you choose to start to believe Jesus' truth instead of Satan's lies, you have good emotions, not bad emotions. Jesus ain't gonna force us to believe in his truth. We have to do it choose to do it ourselves. Help me to believe in your truth, Jesus, and he will. Choosing to believe in the truth of the biblical scriptures about Jesus can set us free from our fearful thinking if we want to choose to believe in them. If we want to choose to believe in Satan's lies, bad emotions. If we want to choose to believe in Jesus' truth, good emotions. We're choosing our emotions by choosing our beliefs, lies or truth, right or wrong. Jesus is trying to say to us, you will know the truth about me, and this truth about me will set you free from your fearful thinking. 
So, that is some thinking about a little saying, which if we choose to believe in it, we could be free from fearful thinking. And the saying is, I don't have to fear this with Jesus. He can work this out for my good. If we choose to believe that about all our problems and sufferings, all the things we fear, we wouldn't fear.